Benjamin R. Mielsen of Sir Richard's 891. This time we'll be in West Palm Times, season 1, episode 1. But I've noticed we've said so in flashback scenes. We learn more about Pinocchio, and we learn that August is Pinocchio. The reason we learn about this is because Henry uh, has a new story about Pinocchio in his book, and they don't know who put it there. Then we get the backstory on Pinocchio, and it starts off with him and his, and his father uh, swimming, trying to get away from the, the big whale. And his father wakes up on the shore, and Pinocchio is turned back to wood, and he's lifeless. And the blue fairy comes and turns him into a real boy, but he has to be honest, truthful. He has to be honest, uh, and two other things, and he'll stay a, a real boy. Well, after this, Jim, the blue parrot fairy comes to Geppetto and tells him that they need him to make the wardrobe to put the savior in. And there are really two people to go through the wardrobe, but Geppetto makes a deal with the blue fairy to stay on the one can. That way Pinocchio can go to the real world and be safe and curse and watch Emma as well. And what happens is the Snow White winds up having Emma before the curse and... That the Blue Fairy set tells Geppetto that they can't do this, and Geppetto do, does it anyway, and puts uh, Pinocchio in the wardrobe and goes into our world. And then he gets knocked out, and then a couple of seconds, whenever he wakes up, Emma comes to the wardrobe, and uh, Pinocchio was supposed to take care of Emma and make sure she was safe, and let her, whenever she came 28, bring her back to storybook, and that way she can end the curse. Well, this didn't happen because Pinocchio ends up going with some more foster kids and they leave, he leaves Emma behind. And then when he was out halfway across the world, he got a sharp pain during the night and during the morning and his legs started turning into wood, so he's turning back into wood and that's what made him come back to storybook. And, and that's all that happened in the 30 little things that's happening in the present day. I'll just be trying to convince Emma that this is all real. The storybook is all made up, has all, everybody in the storybook is a fairy tale character. And he takes Emma back to where all this found Emma in the first place. And she gets upset because she was wondering why he was doing this. And he tells her he was the senior boy that found her and took her to the diner. And he takes her back to the tree that they both came through, through the portal. And she's not believing it. And he's trying to convince her you're the only hope. And then she tells says, y'all are all screwed, and she walks off, and then she goes back to talk to Henry, and asks Henry if he wants to come with her and live with her, and she winds up, even though Henry is her biological son, she doesn't have custody, so she winds up kidnapping Henry from the evil queen, so we'll have to see what happens with that, and other than that, that's all that will happen in the future, so my question for y'all is, now that Emma's done kidnapping Henry, what's going to happen with as always, teaching my longest son out that he was also just coming up to the original TV, no matter what, so I'm going to say.